There was a fire at St. Jerome's Home for Children last night. This is so sad. Yeah, I know. Those poor kids. That's a real shame. You and your dad should take some in. Some? <laughs> no. No way. Why not? I don't like kids, Maggie. I don't want to take care of any kids. So we're not running a hotel. Yes. And this is the first Christmas without mom. The last thing we need is a kid running around here, going through all of our stuff, eating all of our food, expecting us to entertain it. Jesse! What? <laughs> Meet Abigail and David. They'll be staying with us for a while. Can you at least try to be more nice? I am nice. Yeah, but he's like us now. He doesn't have a mom anymore. It's not a foster kid. He has a family. And they're letting us become part of it. For now. Do you always <laughs> sleep this late? <laughs> no. <laughs> I usually work. Can you finish your coffee and get ready at the same time? I prefer not to. <laughs> it's okay, David. Grown-ups take a lot longer than us to get ready in the morning. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Just, you're not young like us. You take longer to get your energy. <laughs> Go get your coat on. People only want to adopt babies. That can't be true. Well, the ones who want to adopt older don't want to. And I'm not going anywhere without my brother. You should plan a Christmas party at your house for them. That's a great idea. Uh, I don't know. I'll help you. It'll be fun. Maybe I'll swing by your Christmas party. I'm sorry. It's only for the families that are fostering kids from St. Jerome's. So. Oh. My mom took in a kid. I really don't want her to hear that. Ugh. I don't blame you. She's bad news. I, I, I tell you the truth, but neither do I. No one wants me. Don't you get it? What do you mean? Tonight. After they go to sleep, I'm leaving. I'm running away. I'll come back when I'm 18. Don't worry. I'm coming with you. Maggie!